The Long Riders is a Western film directed by Walter Hill and it tells the story of Jesse James, his brother Frank, and their whole gang as they rob people, uh, trains and, and the army, all sorts of things. They are folk legends and they have lots of family and friends that protect them. However, a posse forms, Pinkertons show up and they uh, start messing around and it becomes more personal when a tragedy occurs and it ends up being a huge posse versus Jesse James and his gang. So what I really liked about this movie is that it's very gritty. There's a lot of shooting whenever there's uh, shooting, there's lots of blood and bullets, uh, squibs, you feel each shot, you know, not every shot hits because every, not everyone's a terrible shot, it's just, it's really hard to aim. Everyone's on horseback or running around. There's a couple of heists. There's a lot of barnyard dancing. It adds a lot of production value to the story because there's a lot of people just sort of hanging around doing dancing and music. That was their form of entertainment. They didn't have anything else. They didn't have movies or anything, just music and dancing basically. There's a lot of great small moments too, like Keith Carradine's character, uh, one of the youngers, he uh, has a relationship with a prostitute and she's really like uh, willful and she, she tries to get him in trouble a couple times. There's some really great action sequence with that. And the whole cast is really great. Dynamite cast. You've got Randy Quaid, Dennis Quaid. You've got Stacy Keach. You've got another Keach in there. You've got uh, Carradine's Galore. So they have like three sets of brothers in there to make it really look natural that they're, you know, they're my brother. They're actually brothers in real life. And the story's a little bit slow, but uh, everything's pretty action-packed. Uh, really, I like the films of Walter Hill. It has some sort of grit to it. So this movie came out in 1980 and it definitely still packs a punch now. Uh, really sad ending, but uh, it, you know, showcases a, a really good version of the Jesse James gang. So I give The Long Riders a 7 out of 10.